Hi, I'm Shay Brasby, Head of Engineering Services at Netaporter Group. Uh, Netaporter is a leading online uh, luxury fashion retailer. Performance for Netaporter is extremely important. We want awesome end user experience. Um, we're quite a content heavy site, so optimization of the application is absolutely key to ensure an awesome customer experience. So our technology stack is primarily Java based. We um, also use Scala, Node.js on the front end. Um, we have MySQL backend, so we're utilizing uh, AppDynamics agents all the way through that stack. Um, we've also recently um, started looking at the end user monitoring aspect to give us visibility from a customer performance point of view, um, so we can see individual customer transactions and how those individual transactions are performing. The beauty of AppDynamics, it allows us to effectively string all of those um, different application services together and all the monitoring together so we effectively have that piece of string that we can look all the way through the vertical slice of that technology stack. As a part of our selection process we looked at um, the Gartner Magic Quadrant, we saw that AppDynamics was in the leaders uh, section, we looked at the actual product itself, um, saw that it was very intuitive, very easy to use, um, the ability to build very customizable dashboards so individual delivery teams or our operations teams could specifically define what it is that was of interest to them. Um, able to tie in things like um, user transactions so that we can see the performance on an end user point of view. So the global um, heat map for example was um, you know, a pretty awesome feature that was um, you know, useful for us so we can actually see what the end user performance uh, was looking like. A key example where AppDynamics has been really great for us is uh, we have, for example, a whole clustered series of, of nodes. Um, it's allowed us to identify various performance problems within those cluster of nodes. So, for example, one, one particular service in that cluster may have been behaving um, you know, or, or utilising a lot more memory than another. So it's what it's allowed us to do is to have visibility across the board, be able to identify that, change load balancing algorithms in order to utilise the infrastructure more optimally. Throughout Dynamics, what we're looking to do is to optimise our technology stack. Um, we usually have the, you know, the, the age-old problem, which is to sorry, the age-old solution, which is to throw more harder at the problem. You know, to scale um, our, you know, our sites effectively by just throwing more kit at it. So, what Dynamics is going to be able to do is effectively allow us to identify issues, performance bottlenecks across those transactions through the entire stack, allow us to optimise that, and effectively reduce our physical footprint eventually so that we can make better use of our infrastructure. One of the key things we're looking to get out of the product and things most excited about is the um, visibility that we're going to get across the estate, the ability to then surface that information into metrics that will, you know, certain KPIs will allow um, anyone walking past our dashboard, so execs and so on, to effectively see how site performance can be correlated with actual um, business transactions and revenue.